This episode brought to you by preparewithdronetech.com. These days, the future is still more uncertain than ever. That's why people who know what's coming are using today to prepare. You can't wait until the last moment. By then, it's too late. The most important thing you need is long-term storage emergency food. It stays fresh for up to 25 years and will be there when you need it. I strongly recommend My Patriot Supply, America's leader in self-reliance. They're the only source my family uses for emergency food planning. And right now, you can save $50 off a four-week supply of delicious meals that provide 2,000-plus calories a day. Calories give you the energy you need to survive. And saving $50 is impossible to pass up, but supplies are limited. So go to www.preparewithdronetech.com right now and stock up. That's preparewithdronetech.com. There's no time to lose. Do it now. What's the nutritional value of the content? Is it produced by reporters or by repeaters? So at the risk of repeating myself a little, okay? Repeaters are the talk radio shouters who tell listeners to hate the other side. They're on TV and radio telling the same story every day. I ain't having that shit. Hey everybody, welcome back. You might have noticed that lately I haven't had as many videos as I usually would, and this is not because I'm quitting or as some have suggested I'm just lazy, but it's actually because I'm getting ready to move and we've been really busy just trying to get this house sold. So moving on, I've been watching Brian Stelter lately, trying to rationalize some sort of a case for using government to shut down his political and business opposition. This while the party in power, his party, continues to fail on every level while hacks like tater distract from it currently he's trying to convince his dwindling airport lobby viewership that his business and ideological competitors are pure evil while cnn is just trustworthy news and it's really maddening because literally everything that he says is wrong with right-wing media is what he and the rest of the dnc media actively take part in whenever anyone asks me about trust in media i try to ask what do they mean by media because everyone is a member of the media now. The media includes the New York Times and also a no-name blogger. So let me propose to you a, a different way to think about trust in media. Reporters versus repeaters. This brand new research by Gallup says American trust in the mass media is at its lowest point since 2016 and near a record low overall. All right, so he's being deceitful right off the bat here by claiming that trust in media is at its lowest point ever since 2016. And he picked 2016 to imply that this all started because of Trump. When in fact, Trump was actually elected due in large part to this distrust in media that had been growing for the last 20 years. As the media became more and more blatantly Democrat Party propaganda. Almost everyone trusts some form of media. Everyone trusts something. It's just that many people trust CNN and many others trust Fox, even though we're not really two sides of the same coin. <laughs> So it's obvious that when pollsters ask about the media as a whole, the results are abysmal. And that is in large part due to Republican sentiment that you see on your screen here. So you see these lines diverge over time. The blue line much, much higher than the red line. Only a few seconds after misleadingly claiming that trust in media began dropping because of Trump, he's lying again. Notice that there aren't two lines on that graph, Democrats and Republicans. There's three lines that include independents. And you'll notice that their trust is only slightly higher than Republicans. Only Democrats seem to trust in the media. And this shouldn't surprise anyone because as I repeat endlessly, it's Democrat Party state media. Democrats have been in power for almost a year and yet Brian Stelter is pushing this huckster snake oil in an attempt to convince whoever will listen that it's only those inhuman right-wing domestic terrorists that don't trust the media. The implication here being that if you don't trust media it's because you're a fanatic. But the chasm, the canyon between Democrats and Republicans is critical to understand. Democrats say they generally trust mainline news sources. Republicans say they do not. The space between them is Grand Canyon sized. And as Matt Gertz of the Liberal Media Matters noted, the thing about that partisan skew is that it means that negative press coverage is much more damaging to Democrats, whose voters will believe it, and less damaging to Republicans, whose voters generally won't believe it. It's an interesting point. And he presents exactly zero evidence to back up any of these claims. 
And without a hint of irony, he cites the far left Media Matters, which is an organization that was started in part by Hillary Clinton and is solely focused on attacking critics of Democrats and their media. As if there were any negative coverage of Democrats in the first place on CNN. Where is it? The bigger point, I think, is about what the press is. What's the nutritional value of the content? Is it produced by reporters or by repeaters? So at the risk of repeating myself a little bit, okay? Repeaters are the talk radio shouters who tell listeners to hate the other side. They're on TV and radio telling the same story every day. Congratulations, you played yourself. Isn't this exactly what Brian Stelter does for CNN? Isn't this exactly what he's doing right now? You walk out of the street, you're part of the community. You're part of this country. You're part of the global community. And you're contributing to killing people. That's, that's unconscionable. There is no forgiveness. There is no forgiveness for these people. Repeaters are the talk radio shouters who tell listeners to hate the other side. Telling us that the other side is bad and repeating the same attacks on Fox News and the right every single day. Yes, yes it is. But these people have some sort of programmed mental defense that keeps them from having a shred of self-awareness and the deeply rooted belief that things are somehow different when they do it because reasons. All right, folks, that's all a tater I can take for one day. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe. You might also let me know what you think in the comment section.